His victory. Our praise will rise to Christ our King. Your name, your name is victory. Our praise will rise to Christ our King. Raise it up, come on. Your name, your name is victory.
blessing and honor, glory and power unto our God forever and ever. All of the honor, all of the praise is yours, yours forever. says that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, the word of their testimony, and that they did not love their lives so much as to shrink back from death. And so I just invite you to worship with us on this next song that's really talking about the overcoming power of Christ and how we can overcome every single situation through his blood and through the, uh, the word of our testimony. Amen. So you can worship with us with this next song. Oh, 
Spirit, just restored hope, overcoming just things that have happened in our past and things that we thought maybe we could never get over, things that, that happened and we just thought, there's no way that I could do this, not even do this with any people, let alone by myself. Maybe some of us feel really lonely today in these dark situations that we're in that we don't know how to get out of, but I firmly believe, and I know that the word says too, that by the name of Jesus, we overcome all of that. We don't have to remember it anymore, though it's hard to forget. I think remembrance is more part of something in your heart. Sometimes our mind can't forget things, but our hearts can get over them. You know what I'm saying? This morning, I think, I think the name of Jesus is going to overcome that for us. I'm really declaring that and sensing that in the name of Jesus, that things are being forgotten in our hearts by the name of Jesus. And there's no other name that's more beautiful, that's more wonderful, that's more powerful than that name of Jesus. And it's the only one that can do it. As much as we love our wives, our husbands, our boyfriends, girlfriends, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, they're awesome, but they can't do what Jesus can. 
this morning, I want us to just set aside those things. Though they may be awesome and God-given, they're not as awesome as God is. No one has the power that Jesus does. So one more time, let's sing that. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to Nothing this. like the name. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Come on, sing Jesus. it out. Yes. What a beautiful name it is. Oh, what a beautiful name it is. There's nothing like the name. The name of Jesus Christ, my Oh, we're forgetting those things. What a beautiful name it is. Hope restored. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name, what a wonderful name, what a wonderful name it is, what a wonderful name it is, just the name, the name of Jesus Christ, my King, oh, what a wonderful name it is, nothing compares, nothing compares to this, just the name, what a wonderful name. power and what a powerful name it is yes what a powerful name it is the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus overcome
except you Praise in this place. Hallelujah. Can we just pray over you over this moment? Lord, thank you so much for your presence. Thank you for being Alpha and Omega in our lives, Lord. Even when things are not going our way, Lord, we thank you for being present always. Thank you for your son, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for your presence in this place, Lord. Freedom is in this atmosphere. Hallelujah. I said freedom is in this atmosphere. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your freedom. For the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. In Jesus' name. Come on, give God a praise in here. Hallelujah. You guys doing all right? That was weak. I said, y'all doing all right? The Lord is here. Uh, we want to talk about the group a little bit. This is Heart Song, as you heard. We're from Evangel University. Uh, we have a table set up in the back. Um, I don't know how many students are in here or how many high school students. Do I, where are my high school students at? No? One? One? Two? All right. <laughs> so I don't know if you are looking at where you're going to college yet. I don't know if you got an acceptance letters, but Evangel is a great place to go. I'm just shameless plug. Um, we have some, some cards in the back. We have some, some merchandise if your parents want to come by and check us out. Evangel's great. You could, you could maybe be a part of this group next year. I don't know if you're singers or not, but instrumentalists, you know what I'm saying? Um, biology, we have a range of different majors and things like that. Um, but more importantly, it is spirit-driven. Everything that we do in the classrooms, in our chapels, in, in our conversations with our friends, it's spirit-driven. God is all in it, and that is something you can't get anywhere else. So consider Evangel if you're a student, if, you, if you're not a student or you're old now, I'm sorry. But <laughs> um, at this time, I want to introduce you. Oh, Pastor. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, so he talks about being old and then introduces me. I appreciate that very much. I am actually still enrolled at Evangel, so uh, it's taken me a while to get it together. But isn't this great? You guys enjoy this? Isn't this fantastic? Are you guys staying up here? Are you taking a break, getting a drink of water? What are you doing? Staying here? All right. Sweet. Good enough. Hey, it's great to have you guys. If you're a guest with us this morning, uh, welcome to Faith Church. Uh, come back next week, and you get to hear our group, which is equally as good as these guys. And uh, and then I'm speaking, so you guys can come back and check us out that way also. So we appreciate you guys being a part of our service. I'm going to do this. If you're if you're a parent or a grandparent of one of these kids up here, I want you to stand. Grandparent or parent of a kid here, you came for the service. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Come on. Nani Papas. Up, up. Come on. There you go. There you go. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Thanks for some that came all the way from uh, Arkansas, Missouri, different places. Thanks for being a part. If you're a regular guest with us this morning, uh, thanks for being here. Hopefully when you came in, you got a guest tab, and you can put your information on that. If you didn't get one, uh, you can still register with us this morning. And the reason we ask you to register is because it just gives us a record of you being here and puts you in our system so that we can contact you, tell you about the church. And we also send you a free gift, so that's kind of nice too. You can register this morning by just typing in the word faith guest. in your. If you take your text in your phone, if you pull up your text messaging and just type in the word faith guest to the number 797979. And if you do that, we've got a brand new registration platform that you guys can go through and fill that information out. It gives you, um, once you fill that out, it, the next page gives you information about uh, our church announcements that come up. And then the next page gives you sermon notes, which this morning we won't have any, but you can register that way. We'd love for you to do that. And thank you for doing that. I want to say thank you, Pastor Kelly. It's hard to see with these lights up here. Where did he go? He needs, where did he go? Oh, okay. So, come here, Pastor Kelly. He mentioned something about being old, right, or looking old. So, who's younger? <laughs> okay, here's the deal. I will go ahead and admit it. young days of teaching. Can you believe it? Somehow he came to school really, really old. Yeah, that, yeah, that was it. <laughs> but thank you so much for having us. I have so many stories, wonderful stories. In fact, I, I, yeah, he was in a group that I also directed back then. And John Spence, wherever you are, was a roadie. Yeah. So these guys, you can imagine. Uh, but anyway, we've been blessed to be here. You can go sit down, please. Heart Song has been in existence 25 years, and I've been directing it for 25 years. I'll admit that again. But um, I am blessed this morning, once again, to be able to come into a service like this, and Heart Song can join in worship with you, and we can feel God's presence alive in our hearts. We know He's here. We know He's alive. Just beautiful. I mean, I've been doing a long time, and. These kids love the Lord, as you can see, and um, are so willing to just take off and travel and minister for the Lord. So I want to say, first of all, a thank you not only to Pastor and Lisa, but um, the Goins family. You're back there someplace, too. We've known them for years, and beautiful to see them all again. But thank you, host families, for having taking care of the kids last night, and we had a wonderful time of pizza and uh, lots of fun times at, what was that called again? Oh, yeah, the incredible pizza place. That was great. So thanks for, again, sharing that time with us. But what I really want to say right now is that we have come believing that God is here to work miracles in our lives today. We proclaimed who he is. All we need is Jesus in our hearts and our lives. That's all we need. We don't need anything else. And at the close of the service, we're going to be um, joining you, those who want to come forward for prayer and all. We want to believe with you that God is going to meet you this morning. We just were on a tour to Alaska just a month ago at this time. In fact, we were in Alaska. We saw so many wonderful things happen. We were in the prison system there, both the, the women's and the men's prison system, and 
with children and adults, and we saw God work miraculously. And again this morning, I believe that he's going to do that in all of our hearts and lives this morning. We have just a couple more songs, and let's again just let the Lord come and take us and work in our hearts today. And again, thank you. Amen. This next song that we're going to do is called Made Away. And this song, there's the, the part in it, the bridge says, you move mountains and you cause walls to fall. When we think about Jesus, we think about, you know, how great he is, but he also is a chain breaker. If there's any change in your life, whether it's addiction, whether it's jealousy, whether it's anger, whatever it may be, the chain breaker is here to break chains. Anybody believe that? Hallelujah. So we're going to sing this song. Feel free to stand with us. You don't have to, but you can stand with us as we go into worship with us.
get some faith in the room. Come on, say it. You cause the walls to fall with your power. With your power. Yeah. 
sing it. Lord, we're standing here only because you made a way. church who spoke the name of Jesus over my family for years and now all of my family are Christians and my dad's a pastor in Oregon if you speak the name of Jesus he will come and clear the minds of, of the past I was addicted to pornography for five years and I can just remember the nights of just fear and shame and I wouldn't know where am I There'd be times where I'd be like, who am I? There'd be times where I'd be living a double life, not knowing who I am. There'd be, it would be like a drug, almost. And there'd be nights where I would just, there'd be nights where I wouldn't be, and there'd be nights where I would be on it, and it would just be, just madness. But once God came into my life, he changed that. And even though there are times that I still struggle with it, even though there may be nights where the devil tries to come in, God has given me strength to overcome and I don't know if there's anybody out here that may be struggling with the same thing. Just know that you're not alone. I'm not alone. And he reminded me that, that I'm not alone, that he is here. 
and he's here to take me, take care of me. And I know that there'll be a day when he will give me strength more and more. So just cry out to him. When I speak the name of Jesus, I find that he is a protector. He protects you from things seen and unseen, amen? Hallelujah. 11 years ago, my dad, he's a police officer in St. Louis, Missouri. He got in an altercation with a suspect. In this altercation, the guy decides to come around the corner and shoot at him. Bullets flying toward him. And my dad just described it as he saw angels swatting him away. Ah, I felt that. Y'all missed that. But I said he saw angels swatting him away. Not one bullet touched him. And in that moment, we realized that God is a constant protector, that he will protect you even from the physical things and the spiritual things because the enemy wants to kill us. But greater is he that is in us. I'm not going to preach. When you speak the name of Jesus, he breaks the chains from fear and anger from sexual abuse. <laughs> I was taken advantage of by my children's pastor multiple times. My life was shattered, and I was left completely broken, alone, and afraid. It wasn't until I began to sing the name of Jesus in worship that I started to become whole again. In the name of Jesus, I no longer have night terrors, anxiety, depression. I'm a new person in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we can overcome anything. Let's sing the name of Jesus. Come on. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness true. 